Welcome. Thanks so much. Doug Gugger is joining us from the U of I Extension this morning. How are you? Very good, Christy. Good. Thanks for being here. So um, we noticed that you saw something interesting when you were coming home one day. Yes. <laughs> uh, the, Tuesday. I, ca I came home Tuesday evening from work and I noticed a few butterflies fluttering around and I pulled in the driveway and there's a picture of these butterflies. And then as I got out of the car and walked to the house, I was just surrounded by hundreds of these butterflies. Wow. And so it turns out they're the painted lady butterfly mm -hmm. and their caterpillar or larval stage uh, feeds on a lot of different plants. Uh, one of them, it's, it's common name for this butterfly is the thistle butterfly. They feed a lot on thistles, which isn't bad. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. Huh? Uh, but they also feed on asters and all kinds of flowers as well as all kinds of legumes, about a hundred different plants. Wow. And so the problem is, is that this can also feed on soybeans later in the season. Uh-oh. And so just kind of put out a spoiler alert for farmers to go out in the next few weeks and begin to check and see if we've got more caterpillars than usual, than usual. out there. And is there anything that they can do if they notice them? Well, yes. First, they can see if they've got 20% uh, 30 percent or less defoliation and we have guides uh, you can go uh, all over the internet and find out what that looks like and then uh, that's fine that even though it looks bad that isn't a problem it, once we start putting pods on the plant then it's 20 percent but once again it looks 20 percent looks terrible until you until you this to you figure out that really it's not that bad not that bad and with our lower prices this year it's important that farmers don't spend more money than they need to. Well, that's for sure. Right. Um, today's show and tell day. Yes, You uh, brought some corn <laughs> roots with you as well. Yes, I did. And so this this year, we we've had we had to plant into wet soils, and so you can kind of see that these roots right here, they're pretty flat. That's yes. Where it went down, and it just kind of hit and the stopped. hard ground and stopped. Yeah. That was it. And this is kind of showing the same thing it's a little younger corn plant planted about three weeks later once again just showing the fact that these roots went down and they hit a certain layer what we like to see is something more like this where we have roots that are going downward in the ground and so in this one they really did i was I was amazed. Pretty impressed with that one. Yes, it is. In fact, my roots are tangled up in here. <laughs> there we there are. you go. There we are. And so, yeah. And so this is really what we like to see, particularly as we go into summer and it gets very, very dry. The other thing we want to look for is, see, these roots are all nice and white looking. They kind of look like turnip roots. Yeah. That's what we'd really like to see. If we begin to see black spots on these roots, then that's where we've had feeding. Okay. And so that's a problem, and that's then an alert that we did something wrong when we were managing. So we just need to keep all this in mind. And farmers and landowners need to remember that we only see half the plant above ground. Mm -hmm. And even though I dug, I, d I didn't get all the roots, but <laughs> the, it gives, you can then t get an idea get an of what's idea. going on. And then when you have roots like this, it's like, oh, okay, we have a problem this fall. What are we going to do to get rid of this compaction? Perfect. All right, Doug, if there's any other questions that people have for you, how, th how can they get in touch with you? They can go there right there and look. It's a call at 217-877-6042. Go to go.illinois.edu forward slash DMP for DeWitt, Macon, and Pyatt, and there's my email address. I like the show and tell. we got to do this more often. Thank you. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the morning show right after this. <laughs> <laughs>